Welcome to Flamenco Explained. I'm Kai Narezo, and I have a little tip for practicing your rasqueados today. One of the things that I notice a lot of people struggle with is hitting the fifth string, right? Uh, and because especially por medio, the roots of so many of our voicings are on the fifth string, you end up with a really thin sounding rasqueado if you're not hitting that fifth string, right? What you really want that without the fifth string it just doesn't sound right technically and I talk about this in the rasqueado video one of the ways that we solve this problem is by bending the last joint of our thumb this raises the hand up uh, it does a couple other things but for our purposes today it really gives you access to the fifth string right and what I do to practice this or what I have my students do to practice this is mute the top four strings of the guitar and then the thumb is on the sixth string of the guitar. So right now, the only string that can sound is that fifth string. So if my rascado is here, I'm gonna know that I'm not hitting the fifth string, right? And now I know I am hitting the fifth string. Now, you'll notice I'm not hitting it with every single stroke, and that's fine. I might wanna get it with all the down strokes, uh, or Right? I might have my hand at an angle and not be hitting it with every finger, but I am with my index finger. But either way, by practicing with the top four strings muted and the thumb on the sixth string, you'll know if you're hitting that fifth string. And if you're not, you'll know that that's something you need to work on.